నమస్తే నేను మాధవి బెస్ట్ ఇన్ ద బిజినెస్ షోకి స్వాగతం సాధారణంగా వ్యాపారాలలో చేదు అనుభవాలు బిటర్ రైవల్రీస్ చూస్తూ ఉంటాం కానీ చేస్తున్న వ్యాపారమే చెరుకంత తీయగా ఉంటే ఎంత అదృష్టమో కదా గాయత్రి షుగర్స్ లిమిటెడ్ కంపెనీని నిర్వహిస్తున్న సరితారెడ్డి అనుభవం కూడా అంత తీయగా ఉందో లేదో ఆ మాటల్లోనే తెలుసుకుందాం ఆవిడే ఈ వారం మన బెస్ట్ ఇన్ ద బిజినెస్ అతిథి ముందుగా మీరు నానమ్మగా మీ వరదల పింకి రెడ్డి గారు అమ్మమ్మలుగా మారినందుకు సో మచ్ సరిత గారు మన దగ్గర సంప్రదాయం ఉంది ఎవరైనా శుభవార్త మోసుకు వస్తే ఆ వ్యక్తి నోట్లో కాస్త చక్కెర వేసి తీపి చేస్తాం బహుశా చక్కెర అంత నిత్యావసర వస్తువు మరొకటి ఉండకపోవచ్చు అటువంటి షుగర్తో మీరు బిజినెస్ చేస్తున్నారు గాయత్రి షుగర్స్ బాధ్యతలు చూస్తున్న మీకు ఈ బిజినెస్ తీయగానే ఉందా షుగర్ తినడానికి తీయగానే ఉంది బట్ ఐ థింక్ రన్నింగ్ షుగర్ బిజినెస్ ఇస్ వెరీ వెరీ ఛాలెంజింగ్ అవును బికాస్ ఎ లాట్ ఆఫ్ అప్స్ అండ్ డౌన్స్ whether it is because of climate because of weather oh. government policies but now there's not so much of government intervention and it's running slowly but it still has lot of uh, challenges Cyclical. on a daily daily basis there are lot of challenges huh. if you ask me about for whom it is sweet it's definitely not sweet for a person who owns a sugar plant <laughs> i think you can say it's sweet maybe for the farmer also because it they are safeguarded by government policies to increase the price every year oh. or every two years the price gets increased for the government they get taxes a lot of taxes come whether if you talk about workers we take care of our workers very well we give them monthly their payments are extremely on time whether it is bonus whether it's increment we give all of that because it's all according to factories act and labor act we follow everything very correctly so whether a company is doing well or not 100% we take care of our workers our oh. farmers and they are the backbone oh. our company ki backbone hai our workers and our farmers so we take care of them very well and uh, i think so it is sweet for all of them <laughs> but for us i don't know how sweet it is konta tough ga untundi antaru chaala tough ga undi so i think out of all the businesses in our gayatri group i think this is the most challenging and uh, but mere most capable kavati me malli no 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 i wouldn't say that <laughs> i can't tell that i'm most capable my father in law my husband now my sons they all have such amazing capabilities and i think we've all seen and learned from my father in law subram reddy garu oh. he has been like an icon and the way he takes us all forward even if there are times when it's good it's not good he always says you should have ambition you should not you know you you can't feel like you are uh, you've lost everything if you just one small down key you should not feel like you've lost oh, you should be able to put up hard to ne unda 100% you said only if it's challenging life is interesting oh, if it's not uh, in um, challenging there's no interest okay taste stable like like a lifeline oh, it has to keep going up and down heart beat or lifeline if it's stable it's like it's uh, it's like a dead person meeru prasthatam telangana sugar mills association ki president ga unnaru ee vache ada di 2018 19 lo utpatti anchanal ki minchi untundani antunnaru parisrama mottam ki vartinche vidhana paramaina nirnayalu ela undapothunayi egumatulu maate emiti poin samacharam we had 203 uh, lakh tons which was produced country anta and this year it's going to be much more it okay. was actually estimated 250 251 lakhs and ankunar first two then tarvata after after they did some surveys and all of that we do satellite surveys once in thrice a year okay and uh, according to that in january when they did the survey they said it's going to be 261 so that uh-huh. means it's much more than what earlier estimated okay so with this now what we have to think of doing is we are in constant touch with the government i was earlier last year i was president of all india sugar mills association it was very good interaction where the government is also now calling business people and associations talking to them finding out the current trends and the me inputs kuda tisko yeah yeah they definitely take our inputs whether it is policy matters whether it is day to day matters and uh, they are ipudu even with the being as a telangana president we've been in touch with the government and constantly telling them 
So now what has to happen is when you have extra production, you have to export out of the country. Oh, no. So you have to plan for that before. So neighboring countries, Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, these countries, Manito, you have to make agreements, SAFTA agreements, uh -huh. and you have to see that export duties are at zero in times when there are extra production. Okay. In times when there is very low production, then you have to import. Then you have to reduce import duty at that time, so sugar comes in. Okay. So, we constantly work with the government, whether at a national level or at a state level. Okay. So, they have different methods, sometimes whether it's export, sometimes imports, sometimes buffer stock. So, there are different methods and we are in constant dialogue with the different governments and it's given me a lot of exposure and a lot of learning. Okay. Telugu Rashtra lo, Gayatri group chala popular. Telangana Airport Daka, me vi koni projects AP lo nu koni kada undi poye. Meer choose to na Gayatri Sugars Factories Telangana lo nai. Uh, Vibhajan Anantramga, Samsthagatanga eme na marpul chesera. Ma company, we have a lot of projects. It's in all infra projects. We have a hotel business. Oh. We have a power plant. And uh, we had sugar plants also. The first plant we had put up almost close to 18 years back. I was not involved at that time. I joined in 2005 when my father-in-law wanted me to join. Okay. Earlier, he, he did not like women to be in business. But then he uh -huh. afterwards, uh, in 2005, he said, why don't you come and take care of the sugar business? That time we had only one plant. And after I joined, we put up the second plant, we added the distillery, we did co-gen. Oh. So it was a lot of uh, things which got added on after 2005, after I joined. Oh. And uh, we never planned that it should be in Andhra or Telangana. We just put it, I mean, that was the area, the first plant was there. And the first We have both our plants in Telangana. No? Okay. And one is in Kamaredi and one is in Nizam Sagar. Oh. So one is uh, one and a half hours from here, one is two hours from here. Okay. And uh, each factory ki they allot a zone. Okay. So when you have the zone, then in that zone the farmers plant the crop and they'll send it to the factory for crushing. Okay. So like that we have close to 20,000 farmers almost in each factory. Uh -huh. Huh. And uh, from the last 18 years we've been in this business. So. And then we never thought that Ikada Andhra, Telangana, we don't Apur. see any difference. Aun. In that way, if you say difference, I'm Telangana, my husband is Andhra, my in-laws are Andhra. Uh -huh. And my family, my father's family is from Telangana. Ikada Telangana? Like from Varangal. So I we see. are from Varangal. Okay. And um, so there's no difference for us. Meer Chaptana to Gayatri Sugars, sugar power distillery rangal tom kuda moodi padi undi. Ikada production figures allowed, power distillery. We started off, our first factory has 3,500 tons per uh, day crushing and our second plant has 2,500 um, tons per day and we have a distillery which, uh, which is 45,000 KLPD per day. Yes. And uh, so we export power also to the grid. Over here it's about 9, um, nine megawatts in this first plant. Uh -huh. in the second plant we put a 16 megawatt. We are not able to reach that completely because our uh, crushing has to improve a lot more. Okay, and yes. factories ke tha, like pote, No, like no, some part of it is captive. Okay. And uh, out of the 25 megawatts, almost about uh, 15, six, uh, 15 is uh, captive. Okay. And uh, about uh, 10 to 12 is what we export, depending upon how efficiently you do it. Okay. So whatever we can do, but we try and invest very small amounts from within no operations profits. itself, so that we can improve our operations. Okay. Meeru uh, renduela aidulo company lo bajitulu teeskunna ka aneka kotta marpulu teeskoni vacharu um, factories lo utpatti perigindi adhe samayamlo raithulato kuda bandham bala padindi ee 12 13 yella journey meeku santrupti nichinda definitely i think chaala learning lot of happiness lot of i mean of course there's been a lot of uh, downtime also but uh, i think the whole journey has been a great journey of learning and uh, you learn in life, whatever you expect also sometimes doesn't happen because yes. we make, we draw out budgets and balance sheets for and we try to think what we can expect for the year. Right. But uh, it doesn't really come happen. out that way. But then of course some things can be planned, some things are unplanned. But we have worked a lot on improving our efficiency. It may be in small, small things like I was just mentioning, like even steam economy. When you do steam economy and you add small equipment to that, uh -huh. you get uh, a lot more bagasse which is uh, there, it's a byproduct. Right. you get a lot more bagasse. Bagasse is used as fuel. So when you use bagasse as a fuel, then you can export more to the grid. You can run your distillery with that fuel. Okay. So constantly we try to do small improvements like that. It may be bagasse, it may be, you know, even when we do with farmers, we work a lot with the farmers. 
So we try to enhance the productivity and efficiency for the farmers. And they also have training. Is to enter. Hundred percent. We have every year we have training programs which is there for months and months, which we conduct in small groups in different different areas. We take the farmers and go to other states and see best practices in those states because sometimes we may not know what we are doing best. Right. So oh. when we take them to Maharashtra or Karnataka, we see how other plants are running, how other farmers are doing. and then we have actually educated them and i must commend them that they have uh, absolutely learned so well about drip irrigation uh -huh. and the harvesting machines so that i mean labor is also becoming so much more difficult now yes so the government also has started a scheme where they give harvesting machines mechanization basically of all this uh, entire sugar sector oh uh -huh. where they give harvesting machines where they give subsidy some 50 lakh subsidy and all that so the first two harvesting machines we bought for our two factories one one each Okay. After that, we spoke about the harvesting machines and all to the farmers, and they've all formed groups, and they bought a harvest harvesting they machine. They themselves, yeah, three, four of them, and they got subsidy from the government. In that way, the government has been extremely supportive, also. Okay. And now we've got almost ten to twelve harvesting machines between both our factories, and both our factories have a lot more harvesting machines than any factory in Telangana. Is it? Okay. That's because the farmers are. coming forward themselves okay see so they are seeing that if they get more harvesting machine and it's mechanized the their cost of running or their co cost of planting the crop and sending it to us the efficiency grows the productivity grows so earlier we used to get per acre we used to get only about 18 tons aha uh -huh. now we are getting 28 tons when i first started in 2005 it was 18 19 tons per acre we were getting okay now we are getting 28 tons 28 to 30 tons Now we almost double yeah. just kunar. Now what we are pushing is to get it to 35 and to 40 over the next three years. Okay. Because we are using a lot of mechanization in it, not just harvesting machines. We have roto mulchers. Now we are even pushing for drip irrigation. Okay. Drip irrigation also there is a fantastic scheme by the government where you know whether it's for different communities they get it almost 80 90 percent subsidy and only 10 percent has to be paid. And Jain Irrigation, Netafin, and EPC two three companies are there. where they supply and they come and educate the farmers how they are supposed to use it uh -huh. after the season how they are supposed to roll it up and keep it carefully uh -huh. so that whole thing so the farmers also see that how much of potential they have if they put interest in their in their uh, fields and they can try and improve their productivity and our uh, even we have good agriculture staff and we have our officers who keep going and interacting with them daily and weekly and monthly so it's not just like in elections where you only go for them to put vote <laughs> out, out. it's not like that they go throughout the year they are in constant touch whether it may be seed it may be fertilizer it may be pesticide we arrange the harvesting gangs for them i mean some amount of labor now they've got their machines also it uh, whether it's transport we talk to the petrol bunks to give them diesel on credit okay. so everything the whole tie up is done by us the way i think our factory does i'm not boasting but the way i think our factory and our people give the service to the farmer i think you can actually compare it to any factory and we are definitely the best whether it's in telangana whether it's in andhra whether it's in karnataka maharashtra or even up you can actually pick out one farmer and you can ask them what their service is with gayatri sugars and you will see that they are very very confidently they'll say they are very very happy with our uh, company so that actually gives us more confidence and encouragement to go forward okay